it becomes apparent that Ford is facing a significant challenge in selling their trucks. Market adjustments and inflated prices seem to be a common sight. Lightnings and other large SUVs also fill the lot, contributing to Ford's growing inventory problem. The 2023 Ford Lightning with an MSRP of $89,000 showcases the issue. Although Ford has lowered prices by up to 17% on these models, dealerships are adding market adjustments, rendering their reductions ineffective. The sea of F-150s sitting in dealerships is a clear indicator of the challenge Ford is currently experiencing. Prices ranging from $80,000 to $200,000 have become the norm and the days of inventory are steadily increasing. The lack of affordable options is evident, with the cheapest vehicle on the lot being the Escape, priced at $40,630. Ford's decision to veer away from producing affordable sedans in favor of high-margin trucks and SUVs has left consumers craving more budget-friendly options. The Ford Expedition Platinum, with an MSRP of $92,000, highlights the issue with large SUVs. With the Jeep Grand Wagoneer at over $100,000 and other brands offering better alternatives, these models struggle to find buyers. Additionally, the Ford Mach-E GT, priced at $67,000, is overshadowed by the more affordable Tesla Model Y, leaving consumers questioning the value proposition. However, there is hope in the form of Ford Maverick with an MSRP of $30,000, which presents a more reasonable price point. The reduction in market adjustments on some vehicles also indicates a positive step, although overall pricing remains an area of concern. Ford's reliance on fleet sales has contributed to an artificial boost in sales numbers. As businesses load up on its fleet vehicles, this trend is expected to wane, leading to a decline in overall sales figures. The challenge for Ford lies in aligning retail sales with increasing inventory to achieve a sustainable market balance. The lack of four-door sedans in Ford's lineup further compounds the issue. With competitors offering more diverse options, Ford's singular focus on trucks and large SUVs narrows its appeal to a specific demographic. As we look at Mustangs and other models, we find that prices remain relatively high, indicating Ford's reluctance to adjust to the market demands fully. The desire for affordable and practical vehicles remains unmet, leaving consumers dissatisfied with the current options. In conclusion, Ford faces a significant challenge in selling their vehicles due to inflated prices, excessive inventory, and a lack of affordable options. Market adjustments and fleet sales may provide temporary boosts to sales numbers, but a long-term solution requires addressing consumer demands and adapting to changing market trends. By offering more budget-friendly models and readjusting prices to reflect true market values, Ford can regain consumer trust and improve their market position. Only by embracing a more consumer-centric approach can Ford overcome its current obstacles and secure a successful future in the automotive industry.